Alright. Good morning everyone. Welcome to Toad TV. I am Mary Beth. I am Helen. We are the creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow and welcome. This is a little bit odd. I want to say today is Thursday, uh, September 22nd, but you are going to see this on Friday, September 23rd. However, we cannot film on Friday because we are going to be driving. Yes. Because we're heading to Greenwich, Greenwich, New York. For the Adirondack Fiber Festival. Right. Um, we are like way ahead of the game this time around. I don't know what to do with myself. I know, the van is packed. <laughs> the van has been picked up. The van is packed and ready to go. Um, I seriously do not know what to do. Podcasting in there. <laughs> we are going up to see my mom. It was always supposed to be that we, we, we knew we were losing today uh, to go see my mom. So, uh, our mom. We both say it's like my mom. I know. My mom. <laughs> she's not. Um, so, we had, we actually like. Got things done on time. Yeah, it's just. I'm not sure who we are. I don't know. I absolutely do not know. So. However, it's okay because we're just a step ahead. Right. Um, all right. So. We have some work to show you that we've been doing, some things that we've been working on that we haven't shown in a while. Um, I'm going to go first because Helen's is epic and you're not going to want to see mine after you see hers. true. So I'm going to sneak in first. Yours is pretty epic considering how far you've gotten. I am working on Dilio Shade, who is the cross stitch pattern from um, Mama Witch Cross Stitch. And he is a crocodile. Here we go. I've just started page number three. This is where I am right now. I'm moving up. I'm so far back from the camera. <laughs> Isn't he amazing? He's fantastic. I mean, he is really, really cool. I, oh my God, I love him so much. He is just We've so got to get awesome. more of hers that are like that so yes. we can have like a wall. Oh, I'm going to do a portrait wall. Yeah. We're going to have a portrait yeah. wall of all of them. Um, so I just, I mean, this down here is his hand. With rings on it. With rings and claws. He's got his arms folded. I mean, come on. <laughs> and is there a skull so in the cool. Or is it that at the top? It's at the top. Okay. The skull's going to be at the top. They're candles and mushrooms. Well, actually, I don't know if they're candles. They're mushrooms. There may be candles up at the top. I'm not right. sure yet. I will see. But it's just, it's the coolest thing. It's really, he's just And he's amazing. small enough that he's not like overwhelming and takes you four years. Right. Obviously, since you started him less than a month ago. So that is where I am. Um, I'm, I'm loving doing him. Absolutely loving doing him. What I have done is uh, part of the quilt walk, I got the quilt shop hop. I got a whole bunch of needles. So what I did was I put a bunch of the needles, I threaded them, and I have them stuck into this piece of paper with their um, little symbol symbols next to them so I can just pull it out and go. I don't have to worry about threading the needle and unthreading it when I'm done. I figure that is part of what is making some of the threads break because I'm pulling it in and out of the needle's eye oh, over okay. and over again. You yeah. know, you do a couple of, of stitches and then you unthread it and put the next thread in. So I have enough needles that I can do one for every color and I just have them here with the little symbol next to it so I know what I'm doing. Plus our needles seem to get, um, you, don't funk. Know, you don't necessarily notice it, but it gets um, pitted in the eye of the needle. Yeah. Um, and it's minuscule, it's just that it does start to wear away at the thread. Yeah. So that you have to change your needles constantly. The only thing is I have to be a little bit careful because you can see in the middle of this red right here, there's kind of like a white undertone to some of it because I pulled the wrong thread. And I did all the stitches and then I just went over them with the right color. So it's giving it kind because of a highlight. Because shading, yeah. Yeah, it gives it a little highlight. Um, but yeah, I just have to keep an eye on it make sure I'm getting the right thing but it's just I mean he's awesome he really is he is awesome so it's mama x cross stitch no mama witch cross stitch and um she the cross has is, the x is x stitch okay so. she has really really cool patterns yeah. um she's my uh banjo playing possum right and then you also have we have a uh, badger and a rabbit too okay 
And there is a frog that is her freebie pattern that I'm going to get when I'm done him and do him too because yeah. as I said, I really want a portrait wall that's just all of her cross stitch because I think that would be yeah. hysterical. Yeah. So that is my work. I am continuing to work on my shaped ice sweater by Casapinka. It is coming along nicely. However, it really, it doesn't look like much has been done. I've just gone up the back of it. So nothing really exciting has happened there. When I get to a point where I'm joining the shoulders, I will show it. Okay. I'm working on my City Limits sweater. Um, same as Mary Beth. I can't really, I'm just going round and round. The, the only real thing is that I have switched to my final color. I am now fading Autumn at the Hollow and Willow Fairy together. But I've only got like two rows done, so you can't really tell. Okay. So, um, but that's, that's exciting. I have to tell you, I am watching all your requests come in for yarn. And I am saying, okay, we're going to have to put aside a certain number of these because I need a sweater's quantity of Moonstone. And we're going to have to put aside a certain number oh, of these. We're going to have a podcast <laughs> of all the patterns Mary Beth and I are kidding up yes. as we dye all the yarns because it's like the orders come in. It's like, oh my God. I, I really need to about, make something in you know, Autumn at the Hollow. Right. Or, you know, the most recent request was for Hyacinth and Pansies. And it's like, oh, I love that color. That is a really good color. Yeah. So. so we have had a couple of people ask us, will you be able to do this color? Um, and we have been able to say yes every single time. So if there is a color that is not listed on the website, please let yeah. us know because we can probably do it for you. Right. That I know for sure. Um, also, the last thing is our, we will be closing down all the yarn as of September 30th. Which is so. next Friday? No, um, yes, Friday, next yes. Friday. So as of next Friday, you will not be able to order any more yarn, okay? It will be closed down and we will be taking everything that we have offline until we send out all the orders and figure out what we have left. There will probably be some extras of every color that we dye, but it's not a definite and it right. won't be a lot. It will only be one or two skeins of each color. So if there's anything that you want, get it in now also we are finishing up the christmas advent calendars and we are going to have a couple extras of those so once we know exactly what that number is we're going to put those up for sale too so if you missed out on the advent and you wanted to get one there will be a chance to get one right um and um animal guide boxes there's still a couple of those left and yeah there's only like two or three of those left okay and then agatha christie um, if you haven't gotten your Agatha Christie yarn yet, now is the time to get it because uh, we only will be dying a certain number of those, so those will run out. Yeah. And a lot of people came through and got the, refilled their subscription right away, so a lot of them are gone. Yeah. Okay. I think that's it. Go. Go, go, go. Okay. okay. So, I have been working on my EPP mandolin, that's English paper piecing, mandolin quilt for well over a year now. Um, when I first started, there's an option. You can do a 20 block quilt or you can do a 12 block quilt. I was going to do the 20 block quilt. I was going of course. to do the whole thing. Blah, 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 blah. It took me six months to probably do two mandolins. So then quickly reassessed and decided that 12 blocks, plenty. <laughs> and I have 12 blocks. Oh my gosh. I finished my last block. This is the last one I finished. I got really fancy because I took the, this is from uh, Tulip Pink's Daydream line and it's the macaws and I took their wings. I cut off their wings uh, and used it as a border. So that, they're all 12 are done. The main fabric is The Garden Party by Anita Jerem. And each block, the hexagon is uh, The Garden Party and the diamonds and the triangles are all from The Garden Party line. And then the exteriors are? Mostly Tula's True Colors, um, some from other lines, like this was um, from a sewing the sewing one. Right. Um, 
This one is uh, also Lori Holt. Isn't that the sewing one too? Oh, is that the sewing one too? That's, that's the green of the, the sewing one, right? Um, so it was just colors that matched. Um, like this one, the pink and the orange just came out of our scrap buckets. The purple is Tula. I'm just so excited. So by the time you were done, you said it took you six months to do the first two. By the time you were done, you were whipping through them really quickly. Yeah, yeah, no, I could, I mean, if I could, I could do a mandolin in a day if I had the time to sit and do one. Um, but it was usually like over a couple days to do, depending on how much EPP time I had. Like these are, um, this one's from uh, Calendar Girls. It was just extra pieces that we had. So it, my, a lot of it is scraps, but I love the colors. I have always loved the Garden Party line. So I'm excited to have, that I'll have a quilt in it. And that's 12. And then, now what I have to do is I have to do the joining pieces and then the edging pieces. So I need, for the joining pieces, I need a main color and then I needed a pop of color. So for the main color, I chose the cream fairy dust from Tula's True Colors. And then this is the yellow, because yellow is one of my favorite colors, uh, from the tiny dots that just she just added to her true colors line so the way it's going to go is the blocks go like this and they touch here okay here let me hold okay so we're going to have them touching like that yeah and then this comes up like like that okay it goes out like that and it's going to Attach them all. Stop raising your hand. I can't see the screen. I can't see how it looks. Turn it down. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. So, so, so pretty. So I've got one of these done, and I'm uh, about three quarters of the way through the sec second one. I have to do six of these, then I have to do the edge pieces, and then I can start putting it You only all. need six of those. That's what it says. Um, okay. So, yeah. So I, I'm uh, on the second one of this. Which is why I'm not getting any cross stitching done because uh, all my hand stitching time right now is just going towards this because the finish line is in sight. Yeah, so excited. Oh my gosh. I don't want to do anything else. Um, and I would do more of it except it just gets to a point where I can't see anymore. Um, and you know that whole like, job thing. Yeah, but last night when we I was doing it and I was gonna do it all night instead of knitting um and uh the needle kept coming on thread and i'm like okay, okay it's a sign yeah it's time to stop also i had already jabbed myself in the palm with my scissors so it was just like okay the universe is trying to tell you pick up the knitting right <laughs> okay so 12 mandolins done one and three quarters of these one and three quarters of these so you only and need I'm on three my way. and a quarter more to go and then yeah. you're good to go well edging or a quarter I do all the edging. Okay. Because the edging pieces, there are lots of little tiny pieces, so. That's okay. Yeah. So will you put this together with that before you start doing the edging? I don't know. I'm, as you said, I'm going to follow the pattern. And I don't think so because I think she has you put all these pieces together first so that you're not dealing with a lot of bulk. Okay. The least amount of bulk right. possible. Okay. So. All right. So cool. Yeah. As I said, epic. Absolutely epic. Very cool. All right. Yeah. Well, this is the short one because we have to get going. Um, as we said, we will be in upstate New York this weekend. We will come back on Tuesday and fill you in on it just because Monday is going to be, um, we're going get, to be getting back very late Sunday night. And Monday we'll be unpacking the trailer, getting the trailer back to the U-Haul place and um, returning, returning the, the babysitter. babysitter to his home. Yep. So um, we will be, uh, be podcasting on Tuesday and we'll fill you in on the weekend and let you know how everything went. Right. But hopefully we will be seeing some of you there 
if you are going to be coming, please come find us. We will be there and uh, come say hi. Yeah. Uh, and as soon as we know tomorrow where we're going to be, we'll put it up uh, which part we're in on uh, Instagram and everything. All right. Okay. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. It is supposed to be absolutely spectacular. Yes. Today is the first day of fall, and I believe tomorrow it's going to feel like it. Uh, yeah, I believe we have uh, storms coming through today, and then um, low of 52 tonight. We are into good sleeping weather. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I need to make some quilts to throw on the bed. Right. Exactly. All right. So, have a wonderful weekend. Go forth and create. And we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.